We're continuing with section 3.2 uh, and um, in a few examples. Now that we know the derivative rules uh, and we don't have to, for a, uh, for a few type of functions, we don't have to do the, uh, defin the limit definition every time, uh, it's good to revisit some of the, some type of the questions that appears in calculus. Um, so example one, find an equation of the tangent line to uh, f of x equal to 2 e to the power x at x equal to 1. So equation of tangent line, I need two things. I need um, the slope of the tangent line, which is the derivative evaluated at x equal to 1, and I need to find a y value for x equal to 1. Uh, so one thing at a time, the y value for um, x equal to 1, you have to plug in x equal to 1 into the origin, and if you plug the original function, if you put it in the origin, plug it back into the original function, you get f of 1 is equal to 2 e to the power 1. So the point is 1 and e to the power 1, which is e. And then uh, the derivative. How do I find the derivative? So you have to take the derivative of the function right here using the, the laws of derivative. So how does this work? Um, we have 2 e to the power x. Uh, that is um, a constant coefficient times e to the power x. And we know how to take the derivative. So f prime at x is equal to 2 times derivative of e to the power x. And that is 2 and derivative of e to the power x was e to the power x natural log of e which is 1 um, and, and I use the uh, Lagrange notation here. Um, in, and so this is the f prime at any point x. Uh, again, the uh, rules of derivative, uh, they, you actually find a, a derivative function. So that's what we did here. Now to find a derivative at a certain point, you have to plug it in. And so that is this. And um, now that we have the derivative at point one, we both have the derivative, um, the, the derivative function, and then we plugged in and find the derivative. Now we can use the slope. By, by the way, two e is just a constant, and it's a slope. We plug it in, and now we use that, and we use the point one and two e uh, to write down the. Uh, equation of the tangent line. So it's y minus f of 1 equal to f prime of 1 times x minus 1 and that is y minus 2e is equal to 2e times x minus 1. Or you, and then you can take the uh, 2e to the other side to have y is equal to 2ex. If you uh, expand, if you distribute 2e into x and into negative 1 you, and then add 2e to both sides, you get 2e times x. And so that's the equation of the tangent line for this uh, function at x equal to 1. Example 2. Let p of x be x to the power 2 plus ax plus b. Find uh, values for a and b, which makes the graph of p, x, p of x pass through point negative 1 and negative 3. Make the tangent line to p at x equal to negative 1 horizontal. So there is a discussion of the tangent line. Tangent line requires the derivative function and then plugging in negative 1. The other part is that we want to uh, make sure that the uh, function actually passes through negative 1 and negative 3. So how do we do this? Uh, one thing at a time. First, I want to take the derivative of the function. And remember, when you take the derivative of the function, x is, we're taking derivative with respect to x because input, input variable is x. And so in here, um, x squared becomes 2x 
and um, ax is just a constant times derivative of x, which is 1. Um, and then uh, to, for uh, p to have a horizontal tangent line uh, at, so we want a horizontal tangent line. That means that this slope has to be 0. Uh, and that means that this p prime that you found, p prime at 1, negative 1, is supposed to be zero basically again took the derivative of this function uh, derivative of x squared is 2x to the power 1 a is the cosine coefficient and see we do take the derivative of each term by the, uh, the sum rule and then uh, so it's a then times the derivative of x, which is 1. Then derivative of b, because b is a constant, is 0, so it disappears. And then when I found the, the function, a derivative function, I plugged in negative 1 and set equal to 0. What does that mean? Plug in negative 1 in here. 2 times negative 1 plus a is equal to 0, which means a is equal to 2. So I found one of these. I found A. Now what we need to do is to find B. And we have one more information that the graph of the function passes through negative 1 and negative 3. So let's use that to find B. So we use the uh, slope. Uh, so we found A equal to 2 uh, using the um, using the fact that the slope of the tangent line is zero. Now, let's use this fact uh, to find b as well, uh, or solve, uh, so that b is solved also. Uh, this is, this says p of x passes through that. That means this is, if x is that value, if x is that, y is supposed to be that value. That's the, and, and so you're plugging in negative 1 into the original. What is the original? That's the original function. And uh, negative 1 in there is negative 1 to power 2 uh, plus a times negative 1 plus b. And this, uh, when you plug in negative 1, you should get y value equal to negative 3. And now, uh, clean this up. Negative 1 to the power 1 is 1. Subtract it from the other side. This is negative a plus b is equal to negative 4. Now, we had this information. We have this information. Solve together to get b is equal to negative 2. So two piece of pieces of information, what that function goes through what, and the other one is that derivative is 0 at that uh, x value. And you get a and b together. So this is another, and so what we did this time, we used the uh, derivative function to plug in and solve. And, and um, this could be a good example on uh, that some you have to pay attention you're taking the derivative with respect to example three let f of x be a x squared plus b x less than or equal to two and x plus a as x is bigger than two find the values for a and b which makes the function differentiable so in the in the i click your question uh, we just have to check if it's differentiable and if it's con uh, and Part of that was to check if it's continuous. Now, let's let's think about this one. Why are we doing this? So, ax plus b is a function that looks like um, that. It's going to be a, um, a, a, a obviously is a, it's a parabola and. Um, and x plus a, y equal to x plus a, is a um, line. So depending on what value a and b you put in, uh, it, it's just going to look like that. Uh, this is obviously if um, the two functions, the two ends, are not 
uh, in the same place, the function cannot be differentiable. So let's see. One thing is we have to kind of uh, look around, see if it's the, now I found a value that makes the uh, two values for A and B such that uh, the two of them are connected. But now note the uh, uh, brown line is the left tangent line. The red uh, is the, the function to the right but also it's the tangent line to the right because uh, uh, the tangent line of the line is just the line itself. And so now the two lines are not aligned. So we have to change the A and B a little bit to get all of that done. And here and now we again, if you change a little bit, then uh, they fall apart. And so it has to be harmonic at the same time and to get the two lines aligned and connected at uh, the point of the, uh, the, the end point of this one and the end point of that one. Now, so this is the explanation of this type of problems, basically. Now, to, uh, to get the two, uh, to get the function, uh, differentiable at x equal to 1, at x equal to 2. Again, I'm repeating this one also. Uh, see, the ax squared plus b is a parabola, so it's and it's a polynomial, so it's differentiable according to the uh, derivative rules. And y equal to x plus 4, a is a line and, and, and a polynomial of degree 1, therefore it's differentiable and in their own domain. The only point that, that uh, is of concern is x equal to 2. And that's why we set everything to make sure that at x equal to 2, they are differentiable. Now, um, so what you do is you make sure the slopes are the same. And that's take the derivative of the first function, set it equal to the second derivative of the second function. And so basically you're trying to do the limit definition of derivative from left and limit definition no, the the definition of the derivative from right, which is going to be exactly if you take the derivative, uh, fun, find the derivative function of the left and plug in two and find the der derivative function on the right and plug in uh, two. And so one quick note in here, uh, the derivative of the ax. Uh, plus b is uh, a is the constant coefficient time 2x derivative of b is 0 rewrite it as 2ax derivative of x plus a is derivative of x which is 1 and derivative of a which is 0 now if I plug in 2 into here I get 4a and and there's nothing to plug in but I'm plugging in 2 and I get uh, one still. And so the next part uh, is setting a equal to, for a equal to one, you get a equal to 0.25. Now let's make sure that continuity is working also, because remember the two ends should meet. Otherwise it doesn't, even if the two lines are, have the same slope, it's not going to, um, they're not going to be aligned together. And so uh, continuity is when you plug in 2 uh, in the first function and 2 in the second, func second function and uh, set them equal to each other. So the left limit and the right limit and f of 2 have to be equal. The left limit is just uh, uh, direct substitution to the uh, first um, rule and then right limit as the direct substitution in the second rule and you plug in two and then this gives you another um, uh, equation you already have solved for a plug it back into here and you get b equal to 1.5